Welcome to iLecture Online, and here's a second example of how to work with resistance and resistivity. In this case, I turned the problem a little bit around. It says, uh, what is the resistivity of a 4,700 ohm resistor that is 2 centimeters long and has a diameter of 5 millimeters? So let's draw a little resistor. So resistors typically are um, cylindrical objects. In this particular case, so we have a lead coming out one side, and lead coming out the other side, there's our little resistor. Usually it has little color bands that indicate the value of the resistance, like so. And uh, let's say that the length of that resistor is 2 centimeters. So this length equals 2 centimeters. And then it says we has a diameter. D is equal to 5 millimeters. All right. And we're supposed to find the resistivity of the material that's used to make up that resistor, knowing that the resistance is 4,700 ohms. Using the equation, we can say that the resistance equals the resistivity times the length divided by the cross-sectional area. So solving this for resistivity, we're going to multiply both sides by A and divide both sides by L. So we get A over L times R equals the resistivity. And turning the equation around, we get the resistivity is equal to R times A over L. All right, now plugging in uh, the equivalences, we have the resistance here. Uh, hmm, actually, what I'll do is I'll change the cross-sectional area, because that's this right here. The cross-sectional area is equal to pi times R squared. So let's replace that. So this is equal to the resistance times pi times the radius squared divided by the length. So the resistivity is equal to 4,700 ohms times pi times the radius. Now we're given the diameter to be 5 millimeters. That means the radius is half of that, which is 2.5 millimeters. So 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3 meters converted to meters. And then we have to square that amount and then divide all that by the length. And the length in this case is 2 centimeters converted to meters. That would be 2 times 10 to the minus 2 meters. All right. Now let's, uh, here's our calculator. Plug in the values. So 4,700 times pi times 2.5, 10 to the minus 3. We have to square that amount. And now we divide that by 2e to the... 2 minus, there we go, and the resistivity of this material is 4.6, 4.6, in the units. All right, we have meters and meters squared, so that would be ohms times meters. Uh, actually, if I'm canceling that out, I need to cancel one of those out. That just simply becomes meter. That's a better way to write it. So 4.6 ohms times meters. And that's a certain type of material used for resistors. So it's neither an insulator nor a conductor, somewhere in between. And they use those devices to make resistors of various values. That's how we do that. Okay.